by far one of the most requested Pokemon for me to use for my comment section. It turns out Scovillain is also one of the most badass Pokemon that was added in Gen 9. But can we get this thing to work though? Look, I hope you brought a glass of milk, because the twin peppers are about to make it way too spicy over here. So to keep the weather theme going, today we've got an interesting little sun team with some very fun Pokemon. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's free, it only takes you a second, and you can change your mind if you want. But I'm well on my way to 300k, and I do really appreciate the support on these videos. So this is a match against Huncho from my Discord server. The link is always in the description if you're into that type of thing, and let's jump into the match. So I'm actually going to go ahead and lead off with the Noivern as he tosses out the Grafai Eye, young finger painting ass weird long finger monkey. Interesting note, Noivern and Grafai look like they could be cousins or something, I don't know. But I'm going to go for the U-turn just to try to grab a little bit of momentum here as they do actually end up switching out which is nice. Uh, so Gastrodon comes in and this thing ordinarily is an issue, however I have a team built specifically that eats Gastrodons for breakfast. So I got one big banana neck feller getting his name called up to the big leagues and he's uh, gonna try his best. So ordinarily Gastrodon, it can carry the Ice Beam. I know that I can take at least one of them and then it'll actually put me in Citrus range. This is actually more of a bulky Tropius with the trying to take advantage of Harvest in the Sun. Uh, I actually don't have Sun up currently, but I know that this is a, a pretty solid opportunity for me to just scare this thing out with a Leaf Blade anyway. So uh, what this thing is built to do is we're gonna go for the Leech Seed here, try to get that longevity going. And basically we're just supposed to be a bulky ass monster. Tropius is slept on and I'm sick of it, Game Freak. He made this guy draw the short stick, and honestly, Tropius is such a cool Pokemon that I had to toss him on the Sun Team. So, my opponent is going to expect the Leaf Blade, decides to switch into Shelly. So, it's actually really interesting that they have a Torkoal on their team as well, because that just gives me a little extra Sun. So, I really hope that the two identical grannies in the background brought their sunscreen, because it's about to get bright, even though it's <laughs> like nighttime in the game. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the Sun is up, and now I'm thinking Torkoal probably goes for a Stealth Rock here, expecting a switch. Uh, so I'm actually just going to stay in and go for a Dragon Dance. I actually, I have the Terra Water. I'm not sure if I want to dedicate uh, to that yet. Um, but I do get this Dragon Dance up. And as I expect, the Torque Hill does, in fact, go for the Stealth Rock. So I'm totally fine with that. I do have the Defog Noivern uh, in the back if needed. But Tropius is actually in a pretty solid position here. I got the Leech Seed. I got my Sun up in case of Harvest. And I also have the opportunity to try to go for uh, a little, little bit of Tropius action here. So what I'm going to do is... Go for the Terra Water. If anybody ordered some wet bananas, the order is served, bitch. I go right for the Earthquake here after making these nanas just nice and moist, uh, which is disgusting, but a little bit of potassium never hurt nobody. I guess unless, you know, you're the Torkoal across the field from me. But uh, Water Terra works really well for Tropius. That's going to set this thing up to basically just be even more defensive and a menace. Pair that with the, the Harvest Citrus Berry and the Leech Seed, and Bananasaur is ready to ready to go right now. So I get that Dragon Dance up. Unfortunately, this Torkoal carries the Yawn. So that puts me in an extremely annoying situation because I'm set up super nice. Um, I don't have a lot that wants to switch into the Torkoal. Uh, however, I don't expect him to stay in and go for like a Lava Plume, but I decide, fuck it, I've, I've gone this far. I'm going to go for the Earthquake regardless, and they're going to save the Shelly for later. So they end up switching... Actually into the Grafii here, which to my surprise is going to come in and absolutely get destroyed by an Earthquake. The plus one Tropius has an O-code a lot of things in his life, but it's good to see that happen. Um, and unfortunately, I do now fall asleep. But I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe there's a shot that I can outlive uh, whatever they have as their answer for the Tropius and try to still stir up the pot a little bit here. So he's actually going to end up going into the Iron Hands, ready to absolutely clap some cheeks with those palms. Jesus Christ. But... Um, I don't know if this thing wants to set up potentially, but I'm honestly not super worried about it. All I have to do, even if Tropius goes down, is I have some answers to this thing and then, it, and then I can outspeed it. And then uh, Scovillain in the sun hits extremely hard. So, I currently have a Tropius in a dream and they have a Swords Dance Iron Hand, which is extremely scary because at plus two, this thing, it's, uh, you know, definitely one hit KOs like damn near everything. So, uh, I try to go for the turn two wake here, thinking that maybe there's a shot. He actually ends up going for the Terra here and this is turning into more of a problem than I hoped it would be. The Yawn Torkoal uh, really, really kind of threw a wrench in the, the banana plants here. But actually turns out to be Terra Flying, which this thing just looks like a damn goofball with the, the balloons on his head. But I do, in fact, still stay asleep. I clicked Earthquake anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but now I just get absolutely clapped by a Thunder Punch and down goes the Tropius. So I was at least able to, you know, Strike fear into his heart while also taking care of the Grafai Eye. So I'm honestly fine with that. It's not really the star of the team. And I do still have the absolute GOAT ready to come in and apply some pressure. Let me introduce you 
to the twins. We got Habanero, and this thing in the sun is extremely powerful. Truly, there's not a lot that wants to deal with this thing. I come in, I got my little jeans on. He's adorable and an absolute problem. So, depending on how this Iron Hands is trained, this could be a little bit interesting, but I'm still feeling like the pressure from a Life Orb boosted max special attack flamethrower in the sun should be able to at least scare this thing out or be able to just grab a KO if it's not HP or special defense invested. But, He's actually going to end up switching out. Now, important to note, I actually only have one turn of the sun left uh, and decides to go into the Torkoal. So this is an interesting play uh, because basically sacking off the Torkoal here is a good play in that now he doesn't reset up the sun. However, I got a turtle on my side, so it's going to be sunny whether you like it or not. So the flamethrower is powerful enough to knock out the Torkoal, and that is kill number one for our spicy twins over here. So now he gets a free switch into whatever he wants, and he ends up going into the back Scalibur. However, the sun is still up, I know that I can outspeed, but I'm feeling like I can't just straight up grab a KO on this thing. And instead, I'm actually just gonna go right into Cheesecake. I have the perfect answer to this, and that is Jigglypuff with a ponytail. I don't know what Game Freak was thinking when they made this Pokemon, but this thing is an absolute monster, and you should definitely be afraid of the Screamtail. So I come in, um, I actually get the Protosynthesis up, which is actually gonna boost my special defense. Now this is a build that's supposed to be super bulky. It comes with bulk up. It's got that special defense boost when it's in the sun, and uh, this thing is impossible to kill and also has really good coverage. So they end up going for the Dragon Dance there, gets it at plus one. I'm still feeling like with my bulk, I know I can take at least one attack from this thing, and my main goal with the Cheesecake is to be able to just kind of get some chip onto this to the point where Scoville can come in, easily outspeed in the sun, and then, you know, take care of it. So... Uh, he ends up going for the EQ here, that's gonna do, you know, just over half to me, which is fine, and I decide to hit him with a play rough. Luckily, somehow, don't miss. Play rough with that 5% miss chance seems to happen 50% of the time. Uh, but we're able to get it there, and now that puts this thing into range where it's easy to chip later. So, uh, now I decide I'd rather keep around the Screamtail just in case, and I decide to switch into Torkoal. I figure... I decide to sack the Torkoal because what that does is it sets up the sun for eight more turns. With that Heat Rock, I'm able to keep that around and I feel like, you know, the, the Bell Pepper Buddy in the sun should have uh, enough time with that eight turns. So, uh, we get up that drought one last time. The Earthquake, of course, does absolutely smash the turtle, but I've done what I need to do. And now the door is open to try to to try to see, you know, what this, what this Pepper's made of. So, I'm just going to go right back into the boys. And like I said, with that chip I was able to do with the Screamtail, I'm confident that uh, I should be, be able to easily take care of this thing. Even at plus one, uh, with my chlorophyll, I definitely outspeed and, and make some stuff happen. Now, unfortunately, I do take some stealth rock damage there. And with my life orb, I'm kind of put on a little bit of a timer. But there's definitely time to be an absolute menace to the team. So that takes care of the Backscalibur. Kill number two for the Peppers. And this is the coolest Pokemon ever. The typing is extremely unique with that fire and Grass, able to get the dual stab on both Solar Beam and Flamethrower and Fire Blast. And you may be wondering, who the hell's gonna stop this thing in the sun? Answer, nobody, that's who. So, uh, in comes the Iron Hands. Now this thing, if, if there's any Pokemon he has on his team that can take a hit, it's definitely this. So I decide to go for the Fire Blast for that extra boosted damage. It is actually able to take care of it, and that is extremely impressive. I was able to both land the Fire Blast and still grab the kill. Uh, so that Sun Boosted Fire Blast with Stab, with Life Orb, is, is, is way too much. You know, nothing can handle the peppers. Those hands were not ready for the spice, but it happens, it happens. So, now they go into the Pulsey guys. Now this is a Pokemon, also note that it's flying about fucking 12 feet in the air, which is weird. But I'm thinking to myself, why not showcase the entire moveset of this fella? I mean, I can't go for the Terra Blast. However, I can go for the Solar Beam, and I'm thinking stab Solar Beam in the sun. It should be able to grab a kill here. Um, it, it turns out, this weird little ghostly tea bastard is able to live with like 5 HP somehow. I really should have gone for a flamethrower in the sun. It definitely would have killed, but I thought anything killed there, but to my surprise, uh, <laughs> this thing somehow lives. It's able to then go for a shell smash, which is very scary. Anything with shell smash is an absolute monster, and uh, I am afraid. However, after you know thinking about it for a second, I'm pretty sure chlorophyll allows me to still outspeed. My speed is straight up doubled out here. I also don't really have much that wants to deal with this thing. And I have one more life orb hit left in me. So I decide, whatever, we're staying in. I'm able to outspeed. The flamethrower now is able to kill it. So no tea and crumpets for you today, good sir. And that's able to take care of it. So unfortunately, the rain has to come to an end because my life orb does kill me. So that sucks, but I was able to absolutely pull off the sweep of the century. And Scoville in the sun should not be fucked around with, I swear to God. So now I figure, time to ruin the frame rate of the day. I bring in the Sunflora, 
bouncing around, glitching his ass off. And <laughs> his last Pokemon, of course, is going to be that Gastrodon. So my very last Colorful Pokemon uh, does still have some sun to work with. And I can just go right for a nice little Solar Beam here. So down goes the Gastrodon, and it's only fitting that Sunflora is able to <laughs> finish off the game for us. Um, just the greatest Pokemon of all time, for real. So that was a super fun match. I was actually able to get pretty much everything on this team to contribute a little bit. And uh, Sun teams are very scary, especially in the underused tier. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, I would really appreciate it. If you left a comment, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Also, go ahead and comment spicy if you somehow made it this deep into the video.